Okay folks, um, if you uh, recall, I wasn't going to um, bother getting a tap for this uh, nut, but uh, ultimately the uh, attempt at uh, screw cutting was a failure, although I think I did a quite a reasonable job of uh, doing the, uh, the tool itself, uh, there was too much deflection in the tool to actually cut the thread, bearing in mind that the material was a, it's a it's a bolt shaft, so it'll be fairly tough. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, I'm not going to bother cutting another hex or a soft bit of carbon steel and then hardening it. That's just too much um, extra effort and time um, that I don't really want to put into this project. I'm getting a bit bored of it now. Um, so I'm just, uh, I bore this tap. So I'm going to have a go at the um, tapping this thread now. Uh, it should be square to the body of the um, the nut. The the nut has been clocked in the uh, in the jaws of the chuck, and uh, I adjusted it slightly until I got a reasonable um, clock reading. I think it's about eight hundredths out. I cannot quite remember. It might be more or less than that, but it's in my previous videos. Uh, the end of the tap is held in the centre. I know that the uh, the tailstock is um, relatively accurate to the the body of the chuck, so that means that the thread hopefully should be um, much improved upon the nut that came with the grinder. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that for now, folks. I'll pause the video and I'll, I'll be back in a, a moment or two with the, the results. Um, thanks for watching, see you soon. Alright folks, um, that one took a little longer than I expected. Um, I had a slight issue with the um, parting off tool. Um, possibly had it on too slow a, a speed uh, when she started her cut out here it was uh, cutting reasonably well but as I penetrated through the, uh, the shaft or the, the bolt uh, obviously your your RPM near the centre is slower than it acts well is it well it doesn't cut so well near the centre okay <laughs> I, I cannot quite recall what the correct terminology for that is at the moment, but there's more force on the, the, the tool point further out. Anyway, I'm not getting, I'm not getting into that now, right? So I broke the tip of the, the potting off blade. Um, this is a cheap eight pound potting off blade I got off eBay, but the, she's done. Once you get used to it. She's actually not too bad, eh? Not as good as a, a expensive uh, tipped carbide parting off tool, but these high speed uh, steel blades, you know, yeah, they, they are fragile, you know. Um, I don't even have coolant on this uh, machine, so uh, that, that didn't help. So I was, I was stopping it and putting a drop of oil on the, 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 the tool and on the, the, uh, the face I was uh, parting and then starting her up and cutting a bit more and you know generally you, you want a, a smooth action the whole way in cutting it in one go you don't want to stop and start stop and start stop and start because you, you run the risk of hardening the metal but I got through it and uh, as you can see I've uh, parted the, uh, the nut off successfully so uh, I'll just stop this later now because I'm just uh, wasting up oil. I don't know if you can see in there but I've got the, the thread cut. Uh, sorry for the, the camera work folks, I'm, I'm not very good at that yet. The thread's a, a bit rough, eh? I'm no, well, it's not a very good thread there eh? but uh, it will work and uh, you know that I never got a very good finish on the 
the thread itself. But I think that will uh, that will do fine. I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, mount the nut now in the the jaws of the chuck, and I'm going to deburr this edge. Uh, I'll run a clock on this uh, outside face, make sure that's running true, and then I might do a, a very very light cut, finishing facing cut on this uh, face here, yeah, because uh, she's a little bit rough, eh? but yeah, I'm happy with that, you know. Uh, well. I won't say I'm happy with that. If it works, I'll be happy. If it doesn't work, well, then it's just been a waste waste of my time, you know? But, um, it's been a bit of fun anyway, you know? So, one custom made nut for my grinder. Okay, folks, I'll pause it there now and I'll, uh, Continue with what I was, uh, what I've just mentioned, and I'll see you in a bit. <clears throat> okay, um, I've uh, mounted the nut in the three-jaw chuck. I've uh, deburred the outer uh, lip for the um, the face. Uh, you know, just a, a, a little rubber of file, and I've um, put the clock gauge on top dead center. Um, Of the uh, the washer section of the nut. Uh, now, when I rotate the, um, I'll see if I can get that in better focus for you. When I rotate the um, counter shaft pulley, uh, which drives your chuck, I'm getting a run out there of at maximum five hundredths. So that's, that's two hundredths more than uh, what I was getting previously, but it's only gripping the um, the um, the hexes or the knots. So I did that on a milling machine without a, a, a milling machine with a dividing head chuck, but without a, a steady. So there will be some some variance in in that anyway. So. What I'm going to do now is I'll pause it again, and now I'll clock the 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 face here on the outside. Let's we'll try and make sure that's true, and then I'll possibly uh, re-clock this face one one more time. Um, a final check on that face, and hopefully it'll be all reasonably good then, and ready to do a finishing cut, and that'll be the nut finished. Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to crack on with that now, and I'll catch you again soon. Okay, I've got the clock set up now um, on the, the outer face of the, the nut there. Um, my my low point, if I were, yeah, is about there somewhere, okay? Remember that the, the face of the nut there is, is very rough, so I'm getting, I'd say, an inconsistent reading, you know, uh, because, of, because of the um, the fact that the, the face is, is so rough, so I'm getting a, a maximum there, uh, about 0.2 a millimeter possibly run out I'd say. So I'm going to see if I can improve upon that. So that's the, the bit that's um, the most crowded at the moment so I'm going to give it a slight tap inwards and see if I can improve upon that. Uh, just give me a minute and I'll be back. Okay this is my uh, last clip for this evening. Um, I got the, uh, the clock to within about 10 hundredths. 
so um, on the run out on the face of the the um, the nut, and then I've given it a, qu a quick uh, skim at a high RPM just to give it to smooth the face up. I don't know if that's visible there, but that's quite smooth now. Uh, I've got the sharp edge back, though, so I need to deburr that again. Yeah. Uh, now when I um, check my clock, I am getting about two hundredths off run out on the clock, maybe a bit less. Uh, sorry I can't keep that any steadier than I'm, I'm doing. Um, I've got, I'm trying to balance light and focus in this area for your camera here to get a good picture and uh, it's not easy to do with one hand. So yeah, that's, that's running a lot uh, better on that face. Bear in mind that uh, it might still not be perfectly um, tangential to the thread. Now, the thread's not that great anyway, but I think that's all I'm going to do to it for now. And if I, uh, you know, I've still got a little bit of uh, material to play with there, so I'm going to let uh, deburr this now, and I'm going to try it on the uh, on the grinder next. And if it's still not satisfactory, I can always take it back and try and um, take another finishing pass on this face to try and alleviate any issues with the the um, mating surface of the knot being um, tangential to the thread. So that's 12 minutes folks, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this short video and uh, I'll catch you again soon, bye for now.